everyone welcome back to another episode at our jam garage so today i spent the day at uh, tidying up the garage so got everything back into their place and um, bikes are all outside but what i'm going to do today um, or what i'm planning to do is to now work on that engine there uh, the XJ750 engine um, so for me to work on that I need to empty the bench so that I can lay everything into their place um, and it will be easier for me to work on it and keep everything organized so in order to do that what I'm going to do is get the CX inside and I'm going to fit the engine onto the frame so it's out of the way and it's easier for me to uh, move it around rather than just put it on a corner and will also help me to see what I have, what I need and if everything fits into the right place so today CX500 project um, we're gonna do some progress on it uh, get it as a rolling chassis as it is already but with the engine on it and um, just tidy up a little bit so hope you enjoy it stay tuned remember to give us a thumbs up if you like the video and uh, subscribe you if you haven't already and leave your comments below if you think I'm doing something wrong or if you can help me with something uh, is always very much appreciated so stay tuned and enjoy it guys so the first thing I gotta sort out is look at the manual and uh, find out if the forks are the right way around I believe they probably the wrong way around but um, I'll look into it and get that fixed and uh, find out why one of the forks not this one I believe is that one there is leaking because um, it keeps on leaving a puddle on the floor of the garage um, well on whatever container I put under it at the moment but um, just want to find out why it's leaking so and sort out that front end as soon as I got that front end sorted put the wheel in with all the parts um, such as the speed cable or the speed mechanism which I got in the box down there and uh, once that's done i can then go on to fix the back end and then um, fit the engine in
All right, guys, so it's ice cream break time and uh, just in time because I managed to finish the front end, well, kinda, but I know what I have. I know that the front wheel is complete, the brakes, uh, well, there's another two sets of front brakes in there, so somewhat I will be able to rebuild it. I got the front light. Uh, the brake master cylinder up there uh, the wheel is all like finger tight kind of thing uh, so it's in there it's not going anywhere uh, it's good uh, the brakes are binding but that's another story so now it's time to start working on ice cream. the back end <laughs> <laughs> not on ice cream so I got the second wheel there, which matches the front one, so I will remove that wheel, um, fit the wheel that came with it, the one that matches the, the front one, uh, make sure that the shocks fit properly, as well as the rear brake assembly and all of those bits and bobs, and then I will jump onto the engine. So, just a quick update. And let's go and do a bit more of time lapse. guys so the back end is sort of put into place or put in place but um, let me show you something I got the this old shocks just to move the bike around is good enough it's missing a rubber in there uh, but you know it's all perished and and old but we'll do the job for now uh, in there I just made sure the bolt went all the way through um, but that's what's worrying me so it seems like the the wheel if you look at the wheel it's not straight it's somewhat that way so basically I think it's missing gaskets in there or something to extend it out I do have a spare um, rear uh, swing arm, so it might be that the case, but I can see in there that, you know, it's not sitting right, it's way too open on that side compared to that. Uh, just wonder if it's not sitting properly or something, but I will have a little quick look at it see what it is but it seems to me that that pickup point is further back and that one is pushed forward so that one will have to extend back a little bit for the wheel to do this Hello. 
that is the first step to see what I have. Uh, I did manage to get the brake working. Um, so it's all connected. It works somewhat. I don't know to what extent. But yeah, that, that misaligned wheel is what's worrying me the most. I will um, undo the bolts a little bit. Give it a bit of slack and see... Uh, if that helps a bit, but uh, it just seems like he's missing a spacer in there somewhere um, But it might be just my mistake But I res I know that the other wheel that was in there although it wasn't connected properly was also uh, Not correct um, Perhaps there's two types of uh, final drive um, or rear differential uh, that thing right there um, I'm not quite sure but I will dig in and try to do a bit of research if you do know what it is please shoot me a comment below and um, help me out to find out what this is trying to find the correct bolts and stuff like I managed to get the engine into the frame uh, I'm still missing the bolts that bolt down here on the front of this um, shoe horse horseshoe something like that uh, so there's nothing I can do about it at the moment but uh, I know it's a I believe m10 by 125 something like that but um, the engine is in it's got most of the mounts for it so now it's just a case of see what else i have in there carburetors i can just bolt them in and see other bits and i can actually start taking some measurements and seeing what parts i need and making some making some notes so that way when i come to build it um, I know what I need and I know what to order and in each order I should order those bits so I'm just gonna fiddle about a little bit more put the radiator um, the carburetors like I said fuel tank back in and um, that's pretty much it and that will be all for today well I hope you enjoyed the video if you did as always thumbs up and um, drop us a comment of what you think of the build and what should I do with this. So, any help is always welcome. And uh, enjoy the rest of the video. Take it easy, ride safe. And I'll see you next time.